So Project Slayers was once a Demon Slayer game constantly nearing 100k players, but now the game's constantly nearing 5k players. So what has changed? Well, that's the problem. Nothing has changed. And honestly, I'm not even sure that Project Slayers is even working on an update as we speak. But before I get into why Project Slayers is most likely not even going to get an update anytime soon, I want to explain to you guys the context and history of Project Slayers. But that brings us to July of 2022, where Project Slayers initially released. And this release was beyond all expectations. This game went over 100k players consistently on release, which for reference, I can't remember a single game on release getting close to that number. And a big reason for it was the game was actually pretty solid for a release game. There wasn't a lot of issues, it was pretty polished, and although it wasn't perfect, it did the job, and it was definitely the best Demon Slayer game on Roblox, in my opinion at least. But just as quickly as the game blew up, the game also fell down. And this is because the game ran into a common problem among almost all Roblox games. They didn't have enough content. Although the game was visually appealing, as soon as people unlocked all their moves, most people logged off. They attempted to stop this by adding replayable content such as PvP Arena, but honestly it just didn't do enough. But then that brings us to November, four months later after the initial release where they dropped update one. It was a long time and people were mad at them, but honestly for how much they dropped, I believe it was reasonable. Some games will take four months just to release like four new bandits, a boss, and a new island. I'm talking about One Piece games, but this game, they didn't just do that. They added new raids, a ton of new bosses, a ton of new blood demon arts, a ton of new breathing styles. In totality, I think they released more content than we actually got on the release of the game. And the new content looked better than it did before all the new breathings and blood demon arts had these like animated ults and stuff it was really cool but even with all that it ran into the same exact issue as before as soon as people were done leveling up and getting the new stuff they quickly left and you could tell the project slayers devs know what they're doing to an extent at least because when they released this update they purposely focused a lot on replayable content because they knew that was the issue in the initial release that's why they added a ton of different drops and dungeons because they wanted Wanted people to stay for longer and people did stay for a few weeks but after everybody had gone the stuff you know it's the same cycle they're gone and then we assumed we were gonna be waiting another four months for another update right but that's where we had some hope there was some hope coming in and that hope came in the form of a discord message we were told new showcases soon in november and usually when devs say new showcases soon that means it'll probably be a few weeks after the showcases max a month or so before the update actually comes so obviously when they say something like that people are gonna build expectations i myself did i thought damn they're gonna they're, they're speed running this update i thought oh one month they're gonna get this update out in like a month before the last one that's really good speed and i was really excited so then we got the showcases but we didn't there was no showcases we are on january about to hit february of 2023 no showcase i don't know what soon is in uwap spoke but that is not soon but honestly i do believe he thought it was coming soon i just think something happened something that we don't know about one of the first red flags we got was one of the developers of project slayers i believe he's also a developer of grand peace took a break but that's only one developer that probably only works on it part time so honestly i didn't think much of it but after both of these different events happen we just don't hear from project slayers not even today we haven't heard from them well actually we have heard one thing and that one thing is that the developers of project slayers are now the head developers of pixel piece what about project slayers where the new showcases and i'm gonna keep it real i'm gonna make a whole nother video on pixel piece because pixel piece needs them they know what they're doing to an extent like i said at least at least an extent so they're gonna help pixel piece a lot because pixel piece has a million issues which i am gonna make a video about but what does this mean for project slayers this is the real question pixel piece has so many issues right now that that is a full-time job i promise you there is no way they are working on both games right now so either that that project slayers update is already almost done and they just haven't been saying anything or it's nowhere near started and they might even be abandoning the game at this rate or at least delaying it for a while and i don't know why this decision was made project slayers is a really big game still the discord has like seven 100,000 members this is one of the biggest games on roblox and easily the best and biggest demon slayer game i'm sorry demon fall players it's the truth i'm not sure if they've lost passion for project slayers or they just wanted to work on pixel piece really bad they just like the game more or what but i guess we'll find out soon but what do you guys think will happen to project slayers but what do you guys want to happen to project slayers because a man like me was really excited to see those showcases i promise you i seen that discord mess i was like all oh, showcases soon i'll put that on my calendar google google calendar all of that with that being said i would appreciate it if y'all subscribe i'm trying to get tested for a lot of these games so i can make better and new content so i'd appreciate it thank y'all